Stoked? Yeah. <laughs> it is nice having the two. Yeah. Probably could have updated the pictures, but whatever. You guys have the headphones on? You guys got your headphones on? Ryan. Okay, cool. Good morning, Malvern, and happy Friday. My name is Teddy Hawk, and I will be your host this morning for our second extended show of the year. Today is December 20th, 2019. Today we have a special schedule, including the dodgeball tournament, followed by the talent show, which is all followed by the mass we have first. The quote today is, keep love in your heart. A life without it is like a sunless garden when the flowers are dead. This quote was said by Oscar Wilde. Now we have a very special poll that all of you can be involved in. This poll will decide the lunch menu for January 9th, 2020. We have on screen right now the uh, instructions for how to access the poll. You text TV Studio 592 to 22333. Um, so it is live right now, so we'll give you a couple seconds right now to participate. I will currently be sending in uh, my vote, and uh, I don't know, I think personally, I think breakfast or for lunch sounds good, but this is up to you to decide. Two two three three three. Again, you have to text TV Studio five nine two. So, I believe. Do you text? Is it one through four? Peter, can we get confirmation on that? A, B, C, or D. So Swedish meatballs is A, chicken filet sandwich is B, breakfast for lunch is C, and taco bar is D. So send in your, uh, your vote, and we will, uh, at the end of the show, be getting um, checking the results and seeing what the winner is. Thanks for the help, Peter. For the first segment of the show, we have an in-depth view of the hockey team's past, present, and future. This segment was created by Michael McGrory, one of our reporters. We have special interviews with the manager, John Bomberger, and new members of the team. So let's take a look. What do we talk about hockey without John Bomberger? He's a great part of the team, and he's a good goalie too. <laughs> Honestly, the video looks really good. 
So uh, good stuff, Mike. Like. Uh, all those guys, seniors, really great guys. What would you do you want? And uh, this year, you don't have as talented as a team, but we're still a good team, still a family, and still chucking away at uh, the puck and we always practicing. So it's fun, hard work. Peter Murray, sophomore, uh, left wing. Uh, Jimmy Barnes, freshman, left wing. We're one and three. Our great coach, uh, JJ Hawk, unfortunately, is no longer with us, which uh, that really put a dent in the team's <laughs> morale. So we're just going to try to uh, improve going forward. But I mean, without our fearless leader, it's going to be pretty hard. We played Brett twice. We lost both times. We won against yeah. Ghost. Close games. We just got to move the puck more, get it into their zone, uh, play really well offensively, and be uh, really good to uh, discipline. Stop doing stupid penalties like we've had in the last couple of games. All right, who are some of the good freshmen on your team? Freshmen, uh, you got guys like Getsky, uh, Jimmy Jacob. Getsky's a good defenseman. He has a great slap shot. Yeah, can't get on that half the time, but you know, uh, whatever works, we just keep driving it there. Um, Jimmy Jacobs, good kid. Uh, da his dad's coach. He's a hard worker. Yeah, Stephen Getsky and Jimmy Jacobs. Other than that, the rest of them don't really know how to skate, but we're working on it. Who are some of the leaders on your team? Hey, we, we guys got like um, Donatucci, uh, Jimmy Kurt, and Gonzalez. Those are captains. Uh, Chris Sotella, uh, Gordo, Gordo, Kyle. Um, there's a lot of them. They're all they're all great great influences on us, both on and off the ice. Our leadership does need a lot of improvement going into this year, so uh, we'll get practicing and get that. Hopefully, we'll just be working more. Yeah, come out and support. Uh, Usually ice climb. Okay. Yeah, make sure to have some big hits, big goals. If you guys want to come to our games, be rowdy. Uh, always love the energy. Chirping the goalie, that's always a great thing to have. We appreciate everyone who does come out. Um, and I look forward to seeing your support. Thank you. We'd like to thank the hockey team for giving us that in-depth look at their team. And also thanks to our reporter, Michael McGrory, for creating that segment. For athletics today, Varsity Swimming and Diving has a home meet against Conestoga at 345, while wrestling is away against William Penn Charter for their Howdy Duncan match, which takes place at 4 p.m. today. Now we have an extended weather segment with Ryan Davis. Ryan, what's in store for the weekend and break? Good morning, Malvern. My name is Ryan Davis with the weather report for this weekend and Christmas week. Today there will be an abundant sunshine, but it will be on the colder side with a high of 33. Winds will be mild, northwest to five to 10 miles per hour. It will go down to 16 tonight. Saturday and Sunday will both be partly cloudy. It will be partly cold on su Saturday with a high of 35, but will warm up on Sunday with a high of 47. Next week will be partly sunny just about every day. Highs will be around the 40s Monday through Wednesday, and we'll drop to the 30s for Thursday and Friday. Thanks, Mavern. Merry Christmas, and back to you, Teddy. Oh. Thanks, Ryan. Now we have a, a um, special uh, conversation with Harry Bronia, who created the um, who created our sports highlights this month. Harry, um, could you just tell me a little bit about the uh, athletics in the month of November and early December? Yeah, sure. So far we're looking pretty good during November and December. The Maverick Prep basketball team is 4-3 and three this year already after smoking St. Joe's Prep on Wednesday. The basketball team now has an away game coming up against Unionville on Saturday at 7 o'clock. Deuce Turner recently broke the all-time high-scoring record for Malvern Prep basketball, and he's still going. The Malvern Prep hockey team is 4-4 four four this year already after smoking LaSalle High School 7-2 on Wednesday. The Malvern Prep wrestling team is 5-0 this year, and during the Ironman finals, Cole Deary got the win in the 285-pound final, and Dylan Harkins was the champion in the 152-pound final. And lastly, the Malvern Prep swimming team is 1-1 one one this year. They even meet today against Conestoga at 3 p.m. Let's check out the highlight reel. These clips are from the Maverick Prep Varsity Basketball Game versus Abraham Lincoln High School.
This clip is from the Malvern Prep Varsity Hockey Game for St. Augustine. Thanks a lot, Harry, for that recap of November and December athletics. I definitely think Friar Nation is looking forward to what the rest of the winter season has to offer um, for all the athletics at Malvern. Finally, for the final segment of the show, we had an in-depth conversation with Mr. Wasson and multiple middle school students in a segment we like to call Middle School Update. Let's check it out. As the first semester comes to a close, we were curious to find out what was going on in the middle school. Uh, my name is Mr. Wasson. I am a sixth grade academy leader in the middle school and also teach a film class this year in the middle school. So some things that have been going on in the middle school uh, this month are uh, our eighth grade, uh, some of our boys in the eighth grade just took a field trip, not a field trip, but a service trip to uh, a school called the Camp Hill School, and it's a school for uh, children with special needs. So the boys went and spent a day uh, helping out with the school, interacting with the children, uh, and it was a, I think it was a really positive experience for our boys. So Camp Hill is a school for uh, mentally disabled kids. So you know, like uh, autism, like all those kinds of problems, they go there to Camp Hill and. Kids come from all over the world to come to this special location, and they kind of teach them life skills that, like, once they graduate, they may be able to go and find, like, work somewhere. And they just kind of teach them how to live their life independently. Basically, we showed up, and we got a tour from the people who ran the school, and they brought us right to the garden, and we started working. We took out the uh, rotten beds like the rotten wooden beds, and we dug up all the roots and soil. When we first saw the students there, everyone was a little uncomfortable, but because uh, none of us really knew how to react. And, but then as we went throughout the day and we interacted with them more and more, we got much more like comfortable. Yeah. 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 It showed us how to like interact with the outside world, not just our little mouth and bubble. Uh, I think another really big thing that, that's been going on is we are gearing up for our first uh, J day. So the high school has the J term or the J week. And we are trying to adopt something like that. And so we're going to make an attempt to do a J day where the boys will get an experience of uh, similar to what the high schoolers are doing. Eighth graders. Patrick McKeever and Matt McPhillan will describe J-Day. So I'm Patrick McKeever and I'm in 8th grade. Uh, I'm Matt McPhillan and I'm in 8th grade too. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so J-Day is like for the middle school to experience what the J-Term is, but just as a one day elective. And then so they just made up a bunch of electives that we could take. They sat on a form and they just fill, fill out like our most interesting um, things and then they, they just uh, gave, us, gave us what they thought we were most like. There was a the physics one where you would drop an egg and try not to break it. You could build whatever you want. You would uh, you could build a Gaga pit, uh, build an airplane, do fantasy fantasy teams with Mr. Haas. Um, there's so much options. I picked paper airplane for my top one and then physics for two. I think I picked build a bucket and uh, Gaga pit. Uh, with the high, the uh, eighth grade is working on their garden projects that they work on kind of on a quarterly basis. Um, and then the seventh grade is working on a project, uh, I believe it's called Project Me, where they're kind of reflecting and thinking about themselves uh, in the past, present, and future. And then the sixth grade is uh, just beginning uh, an email mentorship project where they um, get paired up with an adult on campus to learn how to send professional email. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, yeah, I think the I think the middle school is uh, looking forward to the holidays coming up and finishing out our first semester. We'd like to extend a, uh, our gratitude to Mr. Wasson and the middle school students for helping us create that segment. Definitely showed us a little more about what they're doing since they're a little, uh, you know, distant from uh, us in the upper school. So now let's check back in on that uh, poll for, for lunch. I think I got to move over yet. So uh, we now have, you can see the whole screen. Also, if, if your vote isn't up there, which it might not be, 
um, or if you got a text that said the TV studio hasn't opened a poll yet, feel free to retext. Obviously, you can see my breakfast for lunch vote is not there, so I'm gonna vote again. Um, but yes, you type A, B, C, or D um, to after saying TV studio five nine two 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 three three three. Let's see if my vote, there it is, 6%. At least I'm accounted for, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, we'll, give, we'll give you guys another 30 seconds in case, uh, in case your vote has not gone in yet. And then we'll lock these results in, and this will be launch on, I believe it's Thursday? I think January the 9th is a Thursday. Um, but I mean, it's looking like Taco Bar's the winner. So, uh, Pete, let's lock those results, just, just for proof, in case. All right, we're good. Peter, Peter, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching the show. We hope you enjoyed our extended show, and stay tuned for the next extended show, which is probably going to be um, late January, early February. If you have any topics you would like us to cover, um, feel free to email us at malvernprep or mptv at malvernprep.org. Uh, any quotes, feel free to send us those also. I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. Stay safe, enjoy your break, and we will see you in the new year.